Okay, the plan this morning is to start getting the dormer up. We've finished the suspended timber floor, as you've seen. So that's nice and sturdy for now. It's going to get even more sturdy once we start getting the walls and ceiling up and it all kind of locks together nice and tight. So I'm just trying to see if I can film this without blinding you. What we're going to be doing is obviously the timbers and the wall that's going to be along here. So the outside cheek of the dormer needs to sit 50 mil off this. We're going to be having a steel post that comes up to support the ridge beam. So the steel ridge beam and the steel and the timber posts are going to be going in. But what we're going to do is we're going to temporarily build it and then we're going to slot the steel post in afterwards because they haven't arrived yet. We have the steel ridge beam but we don't have the steel posts. So we're going to build it and then we're going to slot them in after. Which is absolutely fine because they're going to be in. So we're going to be building all along here. We're going to have the walls coming up, the outside wall. We're going to have the top deck and then we're going to be coming down. I'm, I'm really looking forward to showing you about the insulation on this one because it's very different from the last loft that we did. The first, the first loft that I did, that I converted, was what's called a cold deck. And this one is slightly different, so I'm looking forward to showing you this. It's going to be a warm deck loft, which I think is going to be the way that I'm going to convert them from now on. I'm always going to do a warm deck roof because it's quicker and easier and actually gets slightly better U-values. So yeah, looking forward to this. It's going to be a good day. It's nice and sunny, not too cold. It's the first, 2nd of September, so we're coming into autumn now. So yeah, this is going to be a, be a, good, going to be a good day's work. So what we've done is we've braced up the 2 by 7 there, really, really sturdy. We've made sure it's plumb and level and in line. What we've done is we've just braced this, just a temporary brace, going across this way and across this way. So that's really sturdy and it's bang on the height. So it's 2.3. It's actually 2. Point, so 2.3 is the internal height of the of the ceiling. We've done it to 2.33 so that it's slightly easier for us to get the steel on and then slip this out when we put the steel posts in that are actually going to be sitting back here. And we've done the same on this side as well. Sturdy, nice and braced. Ready for us to try and get this steel up. And what we're going to do is we're going to build a little ladder system here so that we can lift the steel one section at a time on this side, then up on here, and up on there and finally slot it on. And we'll brace it up there, just as a temporary brace. And then we can start boxing out the dormer with the roof. Nice sturdy platform here for us to walk on. Now you can see the ladder that I was talking about. So what we'll do is we'll slot the steel in between each of these as we lift it up. And then on this side, we're going to walk it up onto each of these bits here, like this. So it's good. It's going to be really sturdy. We've also just put this steel here just, just as a back brace. It's timber locked in here. This isn't to support anything, it's just to stop it slipping off that way, just in case. But we've got a nice sturdy, and what we've done, you'll see we've deliberately angled them down slightly, just ever so slightly, and we've compensated for that by having four timber locks in the back of each of them. But by having them there like that, if we just get it on, on the edge just a little bit, we can then nudge it on place, and it will slide in and, and lock in place. A bit like you'd have on a, GM apparatus when you're doing a uh, bench press or something you just have a little angled ridge to help you lock the uh, the bar in place so now we're going to lift this steel up and get going
So, bear in mind, this is temporary, but that's pretty darn good. These are temporary, okay? That timber post is not gonna be here. We're gonna have a steel post, nice and solid on that, right down onto that steel beam there. Same on this side, this is all temporary. Don't go after me on, on, in the comments, all right? But that was pretty good.